Excuse me, um, did you see a piece of paper on the nightstand here earlier today, crumpled up like a napkin? Oh, yes, yes. I threw away when we cleaned the room. Oh, okay, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Lupe, bye-bye now. Bye-bye. I can't believe she threw that out. I can't believe you said that. What? How could you say something like that to me? It wasn't the one. You, you were the one who was talking dirty. I was just trying to keep up. <laughs> Weird thing to say. Why? It didn't mean anything. I was just trying to join in so you wouldn't feel embarrassed. Oh, I think you're really sick. I'm not sick. You, you said much sicker things than that. I don't understand you. I really don't. You have nothing better to do at 3 o'clock in the afternoon? I go out for a quart of milk. I come home and find my son treating his body like it was an amusement park. Ma. Don't give me ma. It's a good thing I didn't hit the table. I could have cracked my head open. People can hear you. Too bad you can't do that for a living. You'd be very successful at it. You could sell out Madison Square Garden. Thousands of people could watch you. You could be a big star! All right, well, that's enough. I want you to go see a psychiatrist. No, I am not going to see a psychiatrist. Why? Why not? Why won't you go? Because I don't want to. I want you to go see somebody. Well, I am not going. It's a good thing your father's in Chicago. Hello, Aunt Estelle. And look at you. How did this happen? Is that important, really? What is this, a police investigation? The woman's been through enough. She has to relive the experience now? Hi, Denise. 6.30, time for your sponge bath. Mm. Is it 6.30 already? I fell asleep. So, George. Television. Let me help you off with that. Um, here, just slip it over your head. Well, it's about time. We thought you were gonna wind up on the street. <laughs> so, what is it you're doing exactly? George, your cousin Shelly is talking to you. I'm back. Why wouldn't I be back? My mother's in the hospital. I'm gonna pay her a visit. I know, but two days in a row? You didn't have to do this. My mother! What wouldn't I do for you? You know what you could do? I haven't eaten lunch or dinner. I can't eat this hospital food. Maybe you could run down to the deli and get me a sandwich. You got it, Ma. A little later. <laughs> Could you go now, Georgie? I'm very hungry. I'm weak. Well, wait a little while, Ma. What's the difference? I don't understand why you can't do this for me. I just got here, Ma. I'd like to spend a little time with you. But if you wait, they won't let you back in. Visiting hours are almost over. Ten minutes. Here, here. Have some Tic Tacs. Get the hell out of here. I'm sorry you came. 6.30. Time for your bath. George, I'm hungry. Hang on, uh, hang on. Mmm. <laughs> Would you care for some slippers? Sounds lovely. <laughs> Thank you very much. May I? Please. Why, it's a perfect fit. You must be Cinderella. <laughs> <laughs> open up the paper, and this is what I have to read about? I fell right off the toilet. My back went out again. I couldn't move. The super had to come and help me up. I was half naked. Good sweat, beats a 
just sweat, sweating bullets. Look at her. I don't need to see her naked to know those aren't real. I mean, why don't she even tie the towel around her? She's got a rack on her chest. <gasps> oh, God. Citra's taking the towel off. Whoa, doctor. That's it. I knew it. I knew it. They're definitely fake. I like it too much. That's why I can't make a move. You put her on a pedestal. I put them on a dental chair. <laughs> he puts them on a dental chair. I'm not her boyfriend. I want to be her boyfriend. It's like a sun in here. It's funny. That's You're funny. a funny guy. Yeah, I never heard that before. So you going to the funeral? Why, you think I should? What, are you kidding? It's a golden opportunity to advance the relationship. She's crying. You put your arm around her and console her. You're the consolation guy. I'm the consolation guy? Consolation guy is big. Her aunt dying is the best thing that ever happened to you. It's like ten dates in one shot. <laughs> this confers upon you instant boyfriend status. The family's there. You're taking care of things. You're getting the sandwiches. You're the rock. It's in Detroit, though. It's an expensive flight. Why don't you get a death in the family fair? What? <laughs> you go to the airlines, you tell them that you have a death in the family, they give you 50% off the fare. Really? In fact, listen, I'll go down there with you. You know, we'll tell them there's a death in my family, you buy the ticket, I'll split it. Huh? Then I'll get the bump smiles and you'll get to Detroit for a quarter of the price. <laughs> Boy, I'm getting a good sweat here. Great sweat. Good beads. Nice beads. <laughs> oh, look who's here. Silicon Valley. <laughs> oh, uh, so anyway, we go out on one date and he asks me out for a second. And then out of nowhere, he calls me, cancels the date and says he doesn't want to see me again. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I, I couldn't help overhearing. Oh, that's okay. Did he give you a reason? Yeah. He's going back to his old girlfriend. Really? He said she's mentally ill. <laughs> He's one of those guys who is obsessed with neatness and order. Everything has got to be just so. He would have made a great Nazi. <laughs> hey, does he ever talk about Superman? Yes, how did you know? Oh, I knew the type. Oh, so you can relate? Oh, yeah. You know, I've seen you around the club. My name's Sidra. This is Marcy. Oh, hi. I'm Elaine. Hi. <laughs> nice. Like a sauna in here. When did this happen? About 20 years ago. <laughs> hey. I am really sorry about this, guys. <gasps> Woo! <laughs> Hell of a picture on this thing. Oh, crystal clear. <laughs> they know how to make them. <laughs> Great. Are there any good Italian restaurants around here? <laughs> Gagli House. That's pretty good. <laughs> well, we should, uh... Get yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, Drake, whatever Ish. happens, I'm sure it'll be for the best. Yeah. Take it easy. Bye-bye, <laughs> Allison. <laughs> oh, no.